Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make multi-gesture support and get all four. If you don't know what multi-gesture support is, it is simply being able to use more than one finger when trying to do some sort of gesture on your application or your game. To get started, I'm going to create a simple 2D scene. I'm going to call it main. And in here, I'm going to add a script. In here, I'm going to create a new input function. So, underscore input event. If event is input screen drag so if we are dragging on the screen so event actually has an index so you can utilize that to tell how many fingers are on the screen at a time so let's say you put down one finger that will be event index zero and if you were to add a second finger the index will be one so we're just going to go ahead and store in that value into i so event dot index However, right now this value doesn't do much as we need to have some sort of visualization of where we are touching the screen. I've just gone ahead and added in a simple circle PNG, which we can use to, you know, visualize our fingers. So let's add in a new node. This will just be a normal non-positional node. It will hold our circle, so circle container. And now back in our script, let's go and grab our circle container and reference it. We also want to create another variable, which will be our circles. So circles will be set to a blank array. Now we need to populate it. So in our ready function, we'll do for circle in circle container dot get children. Then circles dot append that circle. Now back at our input function, we want to make sure that we are within the bounds of this circle array. So we will do if i is less than circles dot size. And then if it is, we'll set our circles i to be shown. We'll also set its positions, circles i dot global position to be our event dot position. And the last thing we need to do is handle the user lifting up a finger. So we'll do if event is input event screen touch and not event dot press. We will set our variable i back to the index and we'll go ahead and hide that circle. So circles i dot hide. As you can see, after I exported this to my phone, I can move around all of these circles with different fingers and I can lift some off and add more. Anyways guys, I hope you found this story helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.